How you doing? My name is Mike Ulrich. I'm here today with Marine Max Venice, and today we're going to be going over the Boston Whaler 28 Outrage. Let's go. Starting off with the transom of the boat, this one's going to be equipped with twin Mercury black 300 horsepower engines. You get a couple different horsepower options on this one. You can standard is 250s. You can do 250, 300, 350, or of course, go all the way and max it out with twin 400s on there. All of them are available in either white or black. Coming through the walkway right in the back, you have a nice big area if you want to do your fishing. You got plenty of room to fight a fish back here, but you also have seating as well. Flip this up drop it down, you have your nice transom bench seat on the back of this one. You'll notice right off the bat that this one is actually one of Whaler's new interiors that is only available on the Outrage series. This is their stone gray. So instead of the short tan that's typically standard in all Whalers, you can now upgrade to a gray one, make it a little bit different, more uh, custom to you. On the back of the boat, you'll notice on the rear port side, you're going to have standard live well right in the back with the blue interior and you can light it up. Right below that, you're gonna have your raw water wash down with the hose for easy connect access. Over on the side, you're gonna have another point of entry, which is Whaler's awesome dive door. Opens in, easy spot to hook the ladder up to deploy when you're at the sandbar. And right here, nice handle that spins around, so an easy boarding. So located right behind the helm, you're going to have your bait or prep station. Right here, you're going to have a fresh water sink cup holder, rod holders located on either side, and an additional live well. Over on both sides of the boat, you have two fish boxes on both the port and starboard that are plenty big. And you'll notice for maybe some secure additional storage, you're gonna have two rod holders built right into the gunnel of the boat. And now moving up to the helm of this boat, this boat is absolutely gorgeous. Again, notice the stone interior on this one just sets it apart. Nice two individual captain's chairs, each have their individual bolster so somebody can sit or stand. Taking a look at the helm on this one. This one is equipped with dual electronics. It's nice that you can run your charts on one, your diagnostics and engine vessel view on the other one. You've got versatility to view more things than once and not having to use a split screen. Up on top, of course, you'll notice all the rocker switches located higher up, easier for the driver to access when you're out in your way. You're not gonna bump into anything. Coming down, you'll have both screens, Mercury vessel view located right in the middle. Right under that, you have your Raymarine VHF and your Fusion head unit. This one is also equipped with the Golite Spotlight that is located above on the hardtop. Also located up at the helm, you're gonna have your Lenco trim tabs here with your indicators. You're going to have the new Mercury throttle system. And of course, this one is equipped with the Mercury joystick integrated with that is also the Skyhook and Autopilot feature. Greatest things about the Outrage, along with the helm and how the boat is laid out, is the design behind their hardtop. So this one actually is fully enclosed with full glass all the way around. So no matter what conditions you end up finding yourself in, the whaler is going to be comfortable and confident going through it the whole time. You have the full windshield on the front with the windshield wiper to you know, take off any rain or spray from the ocean. But on top of that, you have the actuated window up on top. So you can still kick that open and get a fresh breeze through the boat and enjoy the day. Also not to forget to mention, this is the matched paint color underneath on this one. It is also equipped with the nice taco outriggers for those serious fishermen. So moving forward to the bow of the boat, this one does have the head option located right in here. But a cool thing that's on both sides of the boat, which is an option that these drop down trolling seats. Coming forward to the front of the boat, now you've got an area of the boat that's perfect for entertaining. Of course, all the cushions are removable, so you can use it for serious fishing, but you can also use it for enjoying the day with the family. Right now, we've got the sunshade deployed up on the bow. This is an option on the boat. I think it takes two seconds to deploy, but it's nice to have to give you that more shade for the sunny days like you have today. Up on the front, you'll notice that you've got nice seating, nice and extra wide. You do have additional option for a table to be mounted right up here. 
So the front end of this, very similar to the Dauntless videos that we've done in the past. You've got a massive garage storage locker in this one. It does lock, it's an easy pull lock. Open it up, two gas assisted struts to hold it up and you have massive storage. You even have two nice little steps built in to give you easy access in and out of your storage. Located up on the front of this boat, the windlass is completely concealed in its own compartment. You've got a remote switch here that you can operate the windlass from the front. If you have to, you have the crank to do it manually. And of course you have your switches located right at the helm. So that's it. That's my quick video walkthrough of the Boston Whaler 28 Outrage. Again, my name is Mike Ulrich. I'm located here at Marine Max Venice. For more questions, you can give us a call at the number located below. Have a great day.